This is Jackie, and I'm here with the Floozies at day one of Tennessee's Bonnaroo. It's the 15-year anniversary. What you what were you guys doing back in 2002? Oh, I was, I was junior in high. high. Yeah, I was yeah. in junior high. Going to school, skateboarding. Making trouble? Yeah, pretty much. Nice, nice. Describe your sound out there for all the new listeners. Funk music, I guess. Yeah, just as funky as we can make it, I guess. So what's your approach to your music? How is the sound born? Does it come from a, a lyric, a beat, an idea? Um, space between the notes. No, it, it is really like a groove-oriented music, just about whether that's the drums or like a good guitar part. It's just about a deep groove. I like yeah. to say it has deep pockets. It, it varies. It's like uh, I'll just be working on something and get an idea and just follow it. You know, sometimes it starts with a guitar part while I'm watching TV or, I don't know, like a vocal sample or something. It's, it's kind of all over the place. So what do you bring to your live performances? How do you go about choosing your set? Do you have it sort of set out ahead of time or do you kind of let so it free flow? We, we write a set list and then we, uh, I don't know, we kind of just try and... He bounces ideas off me long in advance. Like, you know, if we know we're going to be somewhere historic, we try and kind of incorporate something to do with the environment. And then we just kind of hang out and take it all in, uh, be in a constant state of absorption and reaction. And then right before we go on, we kind of make a rough set list and improvise a lot. What, um, what benefit uh, or do visual aspects have in your performance? What do you guys bring visually to kind of match the auditory? Uh, these? <laughs> no, uh... I don't know. We have a really good light team and laser wolf behind us, so uh, we have yeah, lots we, of lasers. We nix the video screens. We don't really mess with that anymore, but we have, you know, like crazy lights and lasers flying everywhere. Yeah. Laser beams. <laughs> instruments, so you can always look at that. That's true. <laughs> a lot of drum solos. <laughs> Mark just basically plays one long solo. That's That's it. The longest drum solo ever. So how did you know, or when did you make the leap from being fans of music and, and enjoying music to deciding that you were going to make it your career? Um, I was like 11. Yeah. I mean, we never had, I never had a backup plan. Like, I saw uh, Michael J. Fox play Johnny Be Good and Back to the Future, and then I... He learned my, it in like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, he ever played. I he just went and learned it. Yeah, I just didn't... I didn't stop, like, working on that till I could play it, and I, I just... I don't know. I yeah, never, like, well, I've never like, been good enough at short, anything else to be a professional at it. Yeah. And shortly after that, he was, like, playing shows as, like, a, what, fifth grader, sixth grader? Yeah. I was going to shows in second grade of his, and uh, it just kind of, I always was going to do it, too. You know, he's my older brother, of course. Well, that so, looks fun. Yeah, I mean, I I'm going to go do, do it. I saw him play at AMC Theaters when I was in second grade for free movie tickets. Yeah. Okay. I'm nice like, I'm, a, I'm definitely going to. I want free I want movie tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was, we've always been fans of music and musicians. So what other festivals are you guys taking over this summer? We have Mysteryland in like a day. Two days. Two, Two days. days. And then Electric Forest. So headlining Purple Hatters Ball. Yeah, that's then Electric out. Forest. Then High Sierra. And then I don't remember after that. Some other ones. Yeah. Peach. Peach. Peach Music Festival. Yeah. Farm Fest. I, I don't know You're making the fest rounds. Yeah. yeah, I used to have our schedule memorized, but I'm getting older, I guess. Yeah, but next, yeah, so Mystery Land eight. in two days, and then <laughs> next week we're headlining a festival, so that's really cool. Nice. So how can fans that can't make it to a festival enjoy your music? Online? Yeah, it's all free to yeah. stream or download on our website. Um, SoundCloud, everything, really. And I'm pretty sure that our set tonight is being streamed tomorrow sometime during the day so they can watch that. Excellent. So what's up next for you guys after Bonnaroo? Do you remember which festival? Mystery Land. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flat Mystery tomorrow Land, for Mystery Land. Saturday at sunset. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Well, stay tuned for much more from the Floozies. This is Jackie. Thanks to In the Key of Change and Chorus.fm.